Hey guys, welcome to another eerie Halloween episode, and today we are making The, the Blood and Sand. Ooh. Now, I chose this drink for a Halloween special mainly because it has blood in the title, but this is a drink, this is an awesome drink that can be enjoyed pretty much all year round. It's not tied to any season or holiday. Now, no one really knows who invented the drink, but it was inspired by Rudolph Valentino's 1922 bullfighter movie of the same name, Blood and Sand. Now this is a pretty simple drink. It's four ingredients, equal parts, and it's gonna start with three quarter ounce of blended scotch. Now apparently you're not supposed to use a smoky scotch for this, but I will respectfully disagree. The way I look at it, if you're specifying scotch as opposed to any other kind of whiskey, it's because you're looking for those flavors that are unique to scotch. And for my personal taste, that means peat and smoke. But that's my personal preference, and you use whichever scotch you like. Next up is our cherry liqueur. I'm using this Luxardo Cherry Sangue Morlaco. Uh, classically, this was done with cherry herring, another uh, cherry liqueur. But you want that sweeter cherry brandy. Uh, don't use maraschino. That's not what you want here. It's way too dry. All right, so another three quarter ounce. Next up is our sweet vermouth. I'm using a Martini Rosso, but any sweet vermouth will work. Another three quarter ounce. All right, now the last ingredient is orange juice. Now, this should be blood orange juice, but I couldn't find any. I were in season, but I found these Cara Cara oranges, which do have a darker flesh. It's slightly darker, but it's not gonna give us that blood color. So three quarter ounce of orange juice. So that mix would be darker if we had the blood oranges, but eh, what are you gonna do? Okay, fill your glass with ice. I apologize for the low quality ice today. Flippy move. Get it on there, slap her tight, and shaky shaky. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click that button, hit the bell, get notified every time we release new content, which is twice a week. All right, so 10 to 15 seconds shake, good hard shake. Slap to unseal, looking good. Let's get our glass, we will be serving this in a Nick and Nora you could serve in a coupe, a martini glass, any stemware is traditional for this uh, cocktail. Get your Hawthorne, and let's do our sexy pour. Now you could double strain if your juice had a lot of pulp in it. I kind of strained it as I was juicing the, the oranges, so no need. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Rob IMX. Okay, for garnish. Now traditionally I would do a Luxardo cherry, or maybe a blood orange wedge if you're able to find them. But this is Halloween, so I figured we'd do something a little more dramatic. How about a severed finger? So let's get a cutting board, nice sharp knife, line up your finger, and oh god, what am I doing? Oh, oh god, that hurt. Oh, the things I do for my audience. That is gonna leave a mark. All right, so grab your finger in the glass and oh, Feeling a little lightheaded here. And uh, wait a second, what am I doing? That's disgusting. Uh, you know what, let's just garnish with a, um, a gummy worm. There you go. It's got the same kind of Halloween effect. It's gonna look creepy, look gross, but hey, it's a treat for your guests. So there you have it guys, there is your blood and sand cocktail. I apologize for all that foolishness. Um, let's taste it. Now, I absolutely love this cocktail. There's four ingredients in this drink and they all stand out. There's an amazing evolution to this drink. So right up front, you get the fruit notes, you get the cherry, you get the orange. And right after that, the warm, smoky flavor from the whiskey hits, followed by the sweet vermouth, and then it kind of lingers on that sweet vermouth uh, flavor. It's just a really good drink. I really think you're gonna like it. So go ahead and make a blood and sand for your friends on Halloween or for yourself. All right, I'm gonna head over to the hospital and get this finger reattached. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed these Halloween cocktail videos, guys. If you missed the last one, click on the link there to watch our bleachy daiquiri with a disgusting eyeball garnish. And you can also check out our fall series. We have a bunch of fall flavored uh, cocktails. And don't forget to share, like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Cheers.